Rooting an Android phone isn't the easiest thing out there, especially if you've never done it before. However, there are both reasons to root your Android phone, and reasons to not root your Android phone. On one hand, rooting gives you an extreme level of control and customizability on your phone, but it's also possible to brick your device if you don't do it correctly. So, if you're worried about trying to root your phone, but you still want to check out root apps, Fmos, free, is something you should check out. Fmos is basically an instance of a virtual Android device inside your Android device. And guess what, it supports root. Root support is undoubtedly the feature that urged me to try this app out and trust me, you will not be disappointed with it. However, you will not be getting root access by default in the app. You will have to enable developer options which can be done by opening settings app inside Fmos and tapping on build number 7 times. Inside developer options, you will get a toggle named root under debugging section. Switch it on, restart the app and you will have root access on your virtual device. Take a look at the below image for better understanding. After gaining root access, I was able to run almost all apps that needed root access without any hiccups provided that they support Lollipop since the virtual device is running on Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. I tried accessing root from Solid Explorer, my personal favorite file manager for Android and it worked fine. It is worth noting that any changes you do inside Fmos stays inside Fmos and will not affect the primary operating system running on your phone. You don't even have to download your favorite apps in Fmos again. Simply open the file transfer app which is available by default in Fmos, choose the apps you need inside Fmos and tap on import, 